Good morning, folks. It is a beautiful Sunday morning in Southern California, very sunny Southern California in Signal Hill. We got a cool breeze that I know is going to be coming. It's going to clear away kind of the mist of the morning. But folks, it is going to be an exciting Sunday morning. But before we talk about that, I just want to talk about what's been on my heart lately. Now, I've been looking around and I've been seeing a lot of insanity in the headlines. When you look at what's going on in the United States of America, it would seem as though the world is falling apart and everybody is laughing and agreeing with it and not really blinking. When you look at what's going on in Russia and all the things that are happening in Belarus and all the different crazy things that are happening with the European Union, when you look at all the talk about cashless society, folks, let me just simply say this. We are running out of time. And we are running out of time quickly. It is happening very, very, very fast. And I want to say this because I think it's really important. The Bible tells us that we are to be people who are redeeming the time that God puts in front of us. And folks, I'm going to say this one more time. And I know I sound like a broken record when I say it. Jesus is coming soon and we are running out of time. We can see the signs. If you are paying attention to what's going on in the Middle East right now, your mind is going to be blown. It's almost like Putin is becoming everybody's daddy in the Middle East. And it's interesting because we see this temporary condition of peace in Ezekiel 38, which by the way happens after the rapture where you begin to see Israel develop a very comfortable relationship with Russia. Look at the headlines over the last two weeks. They are loving one another, being very close to one another, and yet Israel will be attacked by surprise, probably because Russia wants all of the energy resources that Israel is beginning to discover and brag about. When you go and you look at what's going on in the European Union, When you begin to examine the insanity of all of the things that are happening in the name of climate change and all the other lies that continue to be told about what's going on that necessitates these mandates and all the other crazy things that are happening, folks, it is becoming more and more obvious that this world is getting ready for what the Bible tells us is going to be happening very soon. The world is getting ready to welcome the Antichrist. The world is getting ready to facilitate the tribulation. The world is getting ready to persecute Christians uh, before the rapture. The world is getting ready to do all kinds of insane and crazy things and already doing those things. Cash of society, all the things that are happening, they're all signs that Jesus is coming for his church and he's doing it soon. And folks, we don't have time. We need to wake up. That's why you see me doing three, four, five, six videos a day sometimes. That's why you see me not stopping. Why? Because we don't have time to waste. It's time to take this seriously. And speaking of taking it seriously, today's study, I'm gonna be talking about in the morning, what it means to have a true and real relationship with God and not a relationship with the society that you want to see, right? That you want uh, people to actually watch doing what you're doing. It's so good to understand that your relationship only matters with God and everything else gets fixed. And then tonight, we're gonna talk about Jonah. So I'm gonna attach the video for Sunday morning, our Sunday morning service uh, to this if you're watching YouTube. And if you're not, you can go to Calvary Chapel Signal Hills YouTube page or you can go to Facebook Live. We're there. Very soon we'll be on Rumble Live. Um, Very much looking forward to it. So God bless you guys. We love you. We got a great day planned for you. Don't forget it. It's gonna be great.